When the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, neither wild plants nor grain were growing on the earth. For the Lord God had not yet sent rain to water the earth, and there were no people to cultivate the soil. Instead, springs came up from the ground and watered all the land. Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. Breathing and feeling someone's breath means I need to be close to them. And I think God wants to breathe on us because he wants to be close. He wants to get near us and we need to allow him close to us to breathe on us. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody like having a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. It's a very intimate moment where one person breathes into another person in order that they may have life. And God breathes into us in order that we may have life. Sylvia Plath, a poet, wrote this, I took a deep breath and listened to the old bray of my heart. I am, I am, I am. And you know, I wonder if uh, God, as he did with Moses, wants to come to us in an intimate, close, moment and breathe into us and go, I am, I am, I am, making us aware of who he is, of his greatness, of his love, of his tender mercy. You know, that's the breath of God breathing on us. Edwin uh, Hatch wrote this beautiful uh, hymn, which I'm going to read to you. It says, breathe on me, breath of God, fill me with life anew that I may love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on me, breath of God, until my heart is pure, until with thee I will one will to do and to endure. Breathe on me, breath of God, blend all my soul with thine, until this earthly part of me glows with thy fire divine. Breathe on me, breath of God, so shall I never die, but live with thee the perfect life of thine eternity. That's what we need. God breathing on us. When we talk about an encounter with God, it's about his breath. To feel someone breathe on you, you've got to be close. You've got to be close. Ezekiel, who was prophesying and writing about the valley of dry bones, wrote this in relation to God's breath. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones, these dry bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. So in the intimate closeness that we experience with God, we want him to come and breathe on the dry areas of our lives and bring life, life. Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils and the man became a living person. today and breathe on us. May we be so close that we feel and experience your breath in our lives. Breathe on us, breathe into our dryness and bring us life. Jesus, meet with us. Mm -hmm.